New at 530 behind the scenes, he's one of the bigger players in national politics. And most recently, he was a senior advisor for the Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. But he got his start here in Rhode Island. Guests this week on Newsmakers, Tad Devine diagnoses this bizarre campaign season and has some advice for Governor Gina Raimondo. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White is here now with the details. New at 530. Tad Devine has seen a lot working in politics over the decades, but the success of Bernie Sanders surprised even him. Bernie Sanders didn't end up being the Democratic nominee for president, but he sure made it hard for Hillary Clinton. I didn't think he would take off the way he did, but I didn't think it was a protest candidacy either. Tad Devine worked presidential campaigns for Al Gore, John Kerry, and this year he was Sanders' senior advisor. I think it was fortuitous to have a nominating process where you could go into those early states in many ways like Vermont and make that same kind of connection with voters and use that as a launching pad. So I thought we could do that, and frankly, he surpassed my expectations in the way he connected with people. Devine, who grew up in South Providence, also knows local politics. In 2014, he worked on Democratic gubernatorial candidate Clay Pell's campaign. He says he thinks Governor Gina Raimondo's mediocre poll numbers will turn around. Now, I think the governor, and this is for someone who you know worked for one of her opponents in the primary, is doing an excellent job because she's doing what you really need to do as governor. And I encourage Governor Chafee to do this. I, I wish he had done it more, which is to focus on the economy relentlessly, to talk about it all the time. Devine says the governor needs to be accessible in such a small state, and then her message about the economy should start to resonate with voters approaching the 2018 election. Tim White, Eyewitness News.